The second semifinalist from Africa and Asia Pacific is Indonesia. How are you? I'm amazing right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's your question. You tried cryotherapy as a way to help mentally improve yourself from this universe. What does that even mean? Well, I wouldn't say mentally, but it's more for my body. So it's basically where you enter a human-sized fridge in nearly freezing temperatures, and it's just to relax your muscles because, you know, us Miss Universe girls have to work out really hard. <laughs> you should try it. I don't, I don't think so. I have no reason to be freezing. Black people don't like cold weather, so... Thank you, Indonesia. There are so many people in this world who are left voiceless due to the fact that they don't have a birth certificate. A basic human right. My charity, Voice for the Voiceless, is working hard to ensure all Indonesians have that right. I inspire to be a woman who not only stands for herself, but stands for those who cannot stand on their own. Thank you. The eighth contestant entering the next round. Indonesia! I am one of the youngest contestants here. I'm only 20. I was actually one of the youngest Miss Universe Indonesias that has been ever crowned. That's something that probably sets me apart. I started my own foundation called Voice for the Voiceless. We raise awareness of the issue that 75 million Indonesian kids don't have birth certificates. A birth certificate can actually really help a child's life to get health care, education, protection, and future employment. It's an issue that doesn't just affect my country, but the whole world. Indonesia. Indonesia. That feeling when the adrenaline kicks in and endorphin kicks in when I'm on the rugby field. That is when I feel the most powerful when I'm in my outfit. Indonesia. I chose the color gold because I think that gold is a very bold color and I'm showing the world, this is me, this is Miss Indonesia, this is Frederica. 